Hello guys, we offer online training and physical training for technicians who are willing to upgrade their skills. Our number is right on the screen. Please message us on WhatsApp. Thank you so much. Hello guys and welcome back to the training. And uh, this is going to be a basic knowledge on how to use a uh, schematic diagram. Okay, how to basic uh, training on how to navigate the schematic diagram as you can see this is my own schematic diagram is called Borneo schematic hardware and hardware solutions okay so um, it is important that you know how to navigate through this schematic tool all right the first thing you need to know is that you have to buy license you have to buy license we have license for three months for six months and for a year so <clears throat> excuse me so it depends on your pockets all right but if you buy this software you'll be able to repair almost uh cell phone you'll be able to troubleshoot and repair cell phone cell phone problems all right i subscribed for one year and now you see my license is going to expire in 28 days from the day i'm making this video so it is very important that you get this tool it's going to help you in mobile phone repair all right most times you get you see people uh doing the solution jumper but they will, not, they will never tell you why uh, they are making those jumpers they will just tell you that is the solution but most of this solution when you try them it doesn't work all right so this is that's why it is very important for you to have the tool yourself all right so now when you open when you subscribe to this tool either three months or whatever and you download the schematic uh setup you install it on your laptop you need a laptop to use this tool you, do, you can't use it on phone on your mobile phone so now when you open this uh this tool to ask you for your username and password which i have uh, passed those stages so when you open it you see this page so once you see this page all right this this area this first one here is for uh phone uh phone solutions okay and this other one is laptop solution all right so uh, this one i think is for macbook and iwatch solution all right so it has different solutions but since this training you guys are learning about uh cell phone repair so i'm going to be training you on this particular one so once you click this one this one's on my left side will open up okay this one on my left side will open up and the first one you will see there is mobile phone solutions okay the second one is system on chip uh soc and this one is ic data sheets uh, for ic dioda value all right so you find all this so what you are going to do is to click the first one which is mobile phone solution which i'm going to do right now so once you click this you will see the list of the models that are available on this Borneo schematic tool. The first one is Acatel, uh, ASOS, Benko, Blackberry, and all the products. All right. So that's where you are going to, that's what you are going to see right here on this left screen. All right. For example, if you want to, uh, let's say Techno or Infinix, let's see, let me go, then you scroll this down. You see, I'm mean, scrolling down here. Scroll this down and you go to Techno. This is Techno right here. Do you see Techno? This Techno mobile phone solutions. Once you click this Techno, you double click it. Then all the models that are in Techno will come out. Okay? So all the models that are in Techno will come out. Once they show up, um, then let's see the first one. Okay, no wait. I want the one that has everything I can explain to you about this one. Yes. Okay. We have one of the, one of the, let me bring it up a little so that you guys can see. All right. We have come on 16 premier C is that's a uh, techno C E seven, right? So techno C is e C E nine. Sorry. CE9 you see right here and the first thing you see is dioda the second one you will see here is hardware solutions okay and the third one you see here is schematic and service manual 
this other one is where you see thermistors okay and this one is where you see the voltages the voltage reading on those uh, components on the mobile pcb hope you guys are getting me so now let's start from the the uh the the easier one easier one okay which is this hardware solution this hardware solution okay click this hardware solution you double click it and all these things will show up will show up okay this one is back camera two megapixel ultra night back cam depth charger data this this charger data is is where you check if the charging port is not working and the legs are peeled off from the board or you or the legs are not peeled off but you can't get the accurate charging uh, charger reading on the mobile pcb so this charger data is very important okay then component names if you want to know note all the components name on the pcb then the fingerprint front camera hands free lcd light sometimes the screen will be will, will not have lights okay but we will we, we'll, we'll be having backlight problem so you click this lcd light and it's going to show you the solution and the mic speaker here yeah yeah phone or earpiece problem you click this next to you have no network problem you come here when you have on and off uh our volume up and down problem you come to this to this uh on off volume uh tab okay then the resistance value okay on pad a lot of stuff sd card sim card reading touch screen wi-fi and bluetooth gps everything that you need is right is right here okay so that's how to use the schematic tool so for example let's start from the charger uh, data okay you can choose you can actually choose anyone that you, your phone is having problem with but most of the problems have problems with charging okay so when you click this charger data it's going to bring a tab here showing it and it's going to load it's going to show loading somewhere down here so you have to be patient you see it's 1.6 megabytes it's going to download the file for this uh this uh phone okay it's going to download it once it's downloaded it is going to appear here and you see it says rendering please wait all right it says rendering please wait so you need to wait if your wi-fi is very slow it's going to load very slowly if your wi-fi is very fast it's going to load very very fast okay so now if you're having charging problem issue so now if you want to make your screen to be bigger so that all these things is what you're going to be seeing on the screen you come here you come to this arrow right here and you click it okay once you click it then the whole places everywhere will be brighten up and you will see everything on this uh on the screen all right so now because we we, we check the ch uh, charger data okay you can you can come here and zoom and zoom in okay you zoom in from here you press this then you zoom in okay you see it's getting more bigger and more clearer right getting then you use your mouse to push up okay you push up you push it up right here okay then you press the plus button it gets more bigger once you press the plus button it gets more bigger if you want it to be reduced you press the minus uh, button here okay press the minus then it comes it goes back in okay but for the purpose of this video i'm going to click the plus so that you can see everything so clearly all right all right as you can see this port is where the flex the flex cable goes to the down board or you call it sub board okay and when you see this red line they always signify this red line with the vbus line you see the vbus okay it means the voltage from bus bus here it signifies voltage that is coming from your down board from your charging port okay so you see this red is vbus and if you trace the the leg so it comes right here okay right here you see this pin right here this big pin right here is also connected once you see a zero here it means it's connected to that that pin or that part you see here 38 this is one pin number one number two number three you count anti-clockwise 
then until you get to pin number 38 all right so this is the vibos line all right vibos line and this yellow line is the is the usb dm dm means data minus okay data minus and this green one says usb dp dp means data plus or data positive okay data positive or data plus all right so if you have problem with your charging port and it's not charging okay you make sure you get your five volts from this pin okay from this pin or from this first pin okay this first pin or this pin number one i mean pin number one or pin number 38 so this one and this one will give you the same reading five volts and the test point is out after you've clipped here and you want to you know when you have after you have clipped here there is no way to put your multimeter to read this pin so there is a test point out here for you after you have clipped the flex cable there's a test point out here for you to read your uh voltage which is five volts so if you don't get five volts here that means there is a problem from your damn board okay and the flex and the flex that connects here so that means that flex that connects here is not carrying the five volts that is supposed to come that is supposed to come from the down board to the main pcb here so that is that for now right more videos will be dropped so thank you so much i hope you guys understand so now before i before i round up this dm and dp line are for are for computer sometimes you want to flash a phone and the computer cannot recognize uh the phone it will say sometimes we to complain about the child sometimes it will not even read the phone at all so that means this dp and dm line are missing this yellow and the green uh color here so you trace here all right also you trace here from your down board as well all right the training continues i hope you understand guys thank you so much